In this video, we are going to learn how to solve problems involving indefinite integrals or indefinite integration using the TI-84 plus scientific calculator in seconds for multiple choice questions. And after going through this video, I guarantee you guys that you will be able to solve indefinite integrals using the TI-84 plus scientific calculator. So guys, ensure you stay with me to the very end of this video. I'm going to simplify this issue for you guys all right so having known that let's go into the details of the video all right so as you can see i have written here notes whenever you want to solve indefinite integral questions the calculator should always be in radius mode or in radian all right to avoid unnecessary error very very important guys so having known this let's begin with this question one it says compute this indefinite integral s cube exponential to the power of x dx all right so this is integration by parts if you want to solve it manually or show a working but with the ti 84 plus scientific calculator i'm going to show you guys how you can do this fast in seconds all right so let's get the ti 84 plus scientific calculator now and begin to solve this all right so guys this is the ti 84 plus scientific calculator now the very first thing you have to do will be to reset the calculator to put it in default mode very very important guys now the essence of resetting the calculator is to remove whatever previous value you might have stored on the calculator all right so to quickly reset the calculator all you have to do is to press this second button then press this plus button we we'll look at you see memory written on need so you press this then you press option 7 for reset option 7 then when you come here you want to reset all ram all right press 1 for all ram very important guys okay so follow the, the next instruction you press 2 to reset all RAM okay so once you do it it will reset all RAM so RAM cleared so every value you might have stored on this calculator has been cleared guys very very important so let's press this clear button okay now the idea behind solving indefinite integral with the TI-84 plus scientific calculator is to store a number all right you are going to use to simplify the equation then differentiate the options all right you are going to use a store number to simplify the question and then use that same store number to differentiate the options to get your answer all right so guys just follow me step by step you understand it so let's look at the question again this is a question we want to compute we want to integrate this function all right so right now guys we are going to store two now i highly recommend two guys now you can choose to work any number you want all right but i highly recommend two because i have parties with two for a long time now and have not found any error with it so i highly recommend two guys so to start two on this ti 84 plus calculator all you have to do guys is to press the number first two okay so once you do it you press this button sto stands for store you press it okay now it will tell you what they want to store it as you want to store it as x on the calculator there are two ways you can do this it's either you press alpha and this store button as well s will come out or you just press this button s will come out but i prefer this one this one is easier just press this button okay where you see link written on top of it just press this button okay s will come out then press equal to or this enter button all right so it will indicate that this value x has installed as two on this calculator okay so these two we just thought we don't go out until we see the calculator so we are good to go guys let's press clear so the next thing we have to ensure to do is to know that whether our calculator is in radian or in degree by default this ti84 plus calculator is in 
radian as you can see when you check a calculator here you are going to see what radian guys but if yours happens to be in degree so quickly switch it to radian all you have to do is to press this mode button okay so when you, once you press the mode button guys you are going to come down so come down see this the written radian once you press this right button to go to degree and press enter it will switch to degree let me just show you guys now if i press enter you see this has changed from radian to degree so because we are solving integration we have to put it in radian so we'll go back to the radian mode press enter okay so it's not in radian very very correct okay so guys we are good to go now the tool we have stored let's use it to simplify this indefinite integral we have okay so we have compute this so we have s cube exponential to the power of x dx so it's going to be you bring out the x is stored to bring out the x is stored on a calculator all you have to do is to press either alpha and this stop button or you can just press this button alone okay let's just press this button x to come out so one x the power three you make use of this button for your power function or exponent function okay you press three all right then you come down very very important guys so we have exponential the power of x bring out exponential on this calculator all you have to do is to press this second button okay then press this button written line on it so exponential will come out then you impute the power the power is what x so you press this button all right so that's what we have here guys s cube exponential the power of x ds now this dx is not part of what you're going to put here what the ds stands for here is what function okay so it's not part of what you're going to put here so having known these guys just press enter and see the value is going to give you so we have 59.11 so right now we're going to differentiate the options anyone that gives us 59.11 will be the answer to this question it's as simple as that guys very very interesting so let's clear this okay so to bring out the derivative function on this calculator all you have to do is to press this alpha button then press this window button f2 that's the function under f2 okay so when you do it you're going to see option 3 for derivative so you press 3 all right so once you do it the derivative function will come out okay so we want to find the derivative of okay want to let's go back to this place guys yeah derivative of x d over dx that's what we want to find so press x here very, very important so you then go to this bracket and impute the function we have so the function we have in the bracket let's check so we have exponential the power of x just do it exactly as you have the values very important guys so we have exponential to the power of x bring the exponential we press the second button then impute the power x okay you come down then what does we have there we have in bracket s cube so you open another bracket so we have s cube make use of this power function okay s cube then check what else we have there we have minus 3 s square okay you come down yeah minus 3 s square okay you can make use of this second or just press this button s square will come out okay that's the wrong value this delete it guys let's delete it yeah so just come down let's delete this yeah so you press x square 
Where is we are now? Yeah, that's what we want. Okay, so we have, let's check what else we have there. We have, so s cubed minus 3 s squared plus 6x. So we're going to impute plus 6x here now. Plus 6x. Okay, then minus 6. Minus 6. Alright, so this is exactly what we have here. Now, guys, pay attention here. You have to ensure that the number of brackets are balanced. Alright, as you can see in these values we are entering, we have two brackets at the left side, one and two, whereas we have one bracket at the right side, which is this one. Now, if the brackets are not balanced, you're going to end up having syntax error as output. So, you have to ensure that the brackets are balanced. Very, very important, guys. So, to balance our brackets here, just enclose it again by one bracket here so the brackets are not balanced then come to this place and impute the two restored all right so we press two so that's it guys so this is exactly what we have here okay let's check again all right so this plus c is not part of what we're going to impute the plus c is just a constant there added to the answers of indefinite integrals all right so it's as simple as that guys so let's press enter button or equal to to solve this or to get our answer and see whether we're going to have 59.11 so it's as simple as that guys confirm 59 word point 11 so guys this is basically how you can solve indefinite integral with this ti84 plus scientific calculator okay now guys before we solve this question two to ensure that you guys understand this better if you are just new to this channel and you are learning something interesting from this video ensure you hit the subscribe button now to subscribe to this channel for more videos like this also like share and comment on this video to tell me how you feel regarding what you are learning all right i really appreciate that guys and it also helps the youtube algorithm to push out this video more to enough people to get to have access to it all right so it's as simple as that guys so let's clear this all right now question two let's look at question two it says determine the integral of x square exponential to the power of x all right guys so we are still going to make use of the two we stored on this calculator all right we're not going to clear anything the only place we have to clear will be when we want to store a new number but since we're not storing a new number we don't have to clear so we still make use of the two we stored so let's simplify s square exponential to the power of x. So it's going to be make use of this x square okay exponential to the power of x. We press this second button and this lane button, then put the power there which is x. So let's press enter or equal to 29.55. So right now we're going to find the derivative of the options. Anyone that gives us 29.55 will be the answer to this question so let's clear this very, very interesting guys so to bring out the derivative function press alpha and uh, this window button okay so we have option three derivative of let's put d over dx very, very important guys so we press x here so that d over dx then impute the function in the bracket so we have S square we are finding the derivative of option a so we have s square exponential to the power of x all right so we have x square exponential to the power of x okay come down then what else we have there we have minus 2x exponential to the power of x okay so we have minus 2x exponential to the power of x. Okay. So you come down. What does we have there? Let's check. Look, we have plus 2 exponential to the power of x plus 2 exponential to the power of x second this sorry let's do this guys let's delete this okay so we have second 
exponential the power of x all right so guys the brackets are balanced we have one bracket at the left and we also have one bracket at the one right so it's balanced so come to this place and put the two we stored on this calculator so let's press enter button now and see whether we're going to have 29.55 and that will be our answer all right so let's press enter 29.55 confirm so guys this is the answer to this question option a all right no need doing option b but feel free to see check out option b find the derivative of option b and d and see if you get any value close to 29.55 or different value but i know that you're going to get the wrong value so our answer is what option a so guys this is basically how you can solve problems involving indefinite integrals using the ti84 plus scientific calculator in seconds for multiple choice questions all right hope you learned something interesting from this video let's call it a class here guys if you are new to this channel ensure you hit the subscribe button once more to subscribe to this channel for more videos like this also like share and comment on this video let me have a few for what you have learned if you seem to have any specific questions asked regarding what i've explained in this video feel free to leave your question at the comment section below and i'll be sure to give you a response that's it for this class guys don't forget to reset the calculator once you are done solving all you have to do is to press the second button then press this plus button follow the instructions you press option seven okay one to clear all ram all right so you press one then press two for reset okay so it will see the calculator for you it's done press clear all right so guys i encourage you to practice often so that you get used to this and become faster at it all right if i'm the one doing it alone i will be very very fast but because i'm trying to explain something for you guys that's why i'm a bit slow with my explanations here so practice of two that you become faster and accurate at using the calculator this one to solve problems like this involving different integrals click on the end screen above and i see my subsequent video guys thanks for watching